The entire country was stunned by the arrest of Sunday school teacher Melissa Huckabee. She was in court Tuesday to face murder and sexual assault charges in the death of little Sandra Cantu. This morning, we have exclusive details from Huckabee's journals, courtesy of her longtime friend, Emily Fontes. Emily, good morning. Thank you. When are these journals from? Uh, these are from mostly our senior year in high school, and we would just write each other back and forth during class and between class and just all of our teenage secrets. So this was 10 years ago. You've mm -hmm. saved these journals. Mm -hmm. Is there anything disturbing in there? You know, there's things in here that, that give me pause now. It's hard to know whether, you know, through the lens of what we know now, if, if they apply or not, or how much is just normal teenage like, angst. Like what? Can you read us an example of what um, you found seems odd now that she's been accused of this horrific crime? Well, I, you know, I can read um, just here. I, I don't know if I can handle this, M. I'm so glad I've got such an awesome friend like you. When I get out of high school, you're going to be my only friend left. I wish I could live with you. Tell your mom she can have another baby in the house. That's me. When she says, I don't know if I can handle this, what is this? What is she referring to? Um, she was just referring to, to boy trouble, which was, you know, really typical. We went through a time in our lives where we were very just, you know, experimenting with relationships and that sort of thing. The Melissa Huckabee you know, do you believe she's capable of what she is being accused of now? The Melissa that I knew, and I, I called her Mel, we were best friends. I had an amazing emotional connection with her. And when I knew her, I don't believe that this is something that I can imagine her having done. Um, we were so alike in so many ways, it's almost thinking that, you know, that I would be able to do something like that. It, it feels awful. When was the last time you spoke with her? 2005. And what was going on in her life then, and had she changed from her high school years? You know, I could tell that, that she had been through some really hard times. She had just had her daughter and had divorced her husband, but the time that I talked to her, I actually sounded like she was on a great path. She had just taken a medical transcriptioning course and was planning on working from home, and I just felt that, you know, that was such a relief to me. Um, so it was just shocking to see this. Do you know where, uh, her daughter is now five years old, mm -hmm. where's the father of this child? Is he in the picture? You know, I have no idea. I never met, I never met him. I didn't even know she was married until that time we talked in 2005. Since you found out she was accused of these heinous acts, have you tried reaching out to her family? Have you tried to talk to her? I did talk to her family on Monday morning and I, uh, I was just really surprised people were, the media was so interested to talk to me and I wanted to know how they felt about me sharing the Melissa I knew. What and did they tell you? They were very encouraging. They told me to just, you know, to share my experiences with her if I was willing and just be open and honest. And um, in, in the final seconds, have they told you anything about the investigation or what, what are they saying about Melissa? I, I haven't received any information from them, but um, you know, I hope sometime in the future that I will be able to go see her because I would love to see her again. Emily Fontes, yeah. thank you for sharing with us. Thank you.